Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I'm the breast cancer surgeon at CK Billa Hospital, Gurgaon. In today's video, I'll be talking about milky nipple discharge. Well, can patients have milky nipple discharge even when they are not lactating or even when they are not breastfeeding? Yes, they can. In fact, there are multiple causes which can give rise to milky nipple discharge in those ladies who are not breastfeeding. The most common condition which we encounter is an increase in a hormone known as prolactin. Right. Now, why does this prolactin increase? There are multiple causes for prolactin increase. It could range from stress to thyroid problems to a small tumor in the brain as well. Well, sounds scary, but not everyone has this tumor. So, any lady with milkish nipple discharge when they are not breastfeeding requires proper evaluation. And the evaluation would be in the form of a history, examination. We do get an ultrasound to rule out a lump. And after that, we order this prolactin test. If the prolactin test is raised, we try to find out the cause for the raised prolactin test in collaboration with our internal medicine doctors or endocrinologists and if no cause is found out then we can give a medicine to reduce the value of prolactin and to control this nipple discharge rarely if the prolactin is raised quite a lot we do get an MRI of the brain to rule out a small lesion known as a prolactinoma in the brain now the good thing is that if this prolactinoma, if this lesion is there in the brain and if it's small, it can also be managed with medicines and most of these patients don't require any surgery. Right. So I just want to tell you that if you are having milkish nipple discharge and you're not breastfeeding, right, please get yourself evaluated for prolactin by your doctor. Make sure that they try to find out the cause of raised prolactin. And if the prolactin is remaining high even after treatment or if it was initially very high, don't hesitate in going for a brain MRI to rule out a tumor. As I've told you, this condition can be managed with medicines and usually does not require surgery.